<laughs> we got two banshees. 19.5 wow, every 13 seconds. I've needed this Froki for at least like two weeks. After almost 2,300 hours playing this game, I went ahead and I purchased VIP. I felt like I deserve VIP after playing for almost 2,500 hours. You see me on a Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt's kind of fire. There's a lot of moving parts with the Thunderbolt as we just claimed our little 600 million G. The Thunderbolt is definitely a grind, man, but it's a cool mount. I really like it. I like the concept of it. It is one of my favorite mounts as far as the look. Also, you get the Thunderbolt weapon, which is good too. Right now, mine is a mythical shiny plus plus. You could scale it from the beginning and you could also evolve it. But when you evolve it, you gotta pay the little Robux, but you could also use the spars to evolve it from regular into a shiny into a shiny plus plus so we did that we got the thunderbolt in a nice place it's at 276 sd pretty much close to everything else that we have i know you guys might have seen it but your boy got two banshees back there you feel me we got two banshees yeah we bought we bought both banshees i'm not gonna lie we finished the banshee contract uh it just some of this stuff didn't make sense you know it, it made more sense to purchase it than it did to actually grind it out because i haven't trained one banshee there was no way i was gonna ascend 15 banshees so it just made more sense to buy them and have two banshees now having two banshees makes a huge difference because you get one double the damage like that's just off the rip but you also get double the boost so at the same time i'm having a cheap boost and i'm having a attack bonus boost it's the best of both worlds and let's just say i'm not grinding chi i can unsummon this one and then i can summon this one boom we have a luck boost i paid for it but there was no way i was grinding that out even for the extra spell slot i think i'm probably going to end up skipping through these we have a ton of spell buffs so for the third layer event i've been getting all of these event items i've been going to the lucky draw and as you can see we hit we have the light book we have the sticks impact we have the demon claw and we have three out of four of the echoes which i don't know what i'm gonna do with the echoes i'm gonna be completely honest i might just end up selling them for jades i'm more of a spell based than i am weapon based i have been hitting the spins on here i wish these spins stack right so i think it's every four hours or so kind of like the wheel spins do for the daily because sometimes you miss these and you miss out on it you know what i'm saying like so i don't know why they don't stack but maybe they they make it not stack so like people who don't play the game as much can't get on and have 10 spins it's still gonna take 40 hours to get 10 spins anyway so it doesn't matter are saving these spell buffs we got sticks impact it is level 13 with 11.7 y now this spell comes fresh like three point something y so we got a lot of damage the cooldown is at 17.2 seconds that's good we also have ice crystal drop at 12 y haven't been using much spell buffs on that spell because i kind of forgot and we also been using a flame shuriken but now we're about to go back to my guy i was using a flame shuriken because you get 60 percent damage to regular lords so it was like okay if i get my regular lords up i get my mega lords up then everything's gonna be dope but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get a 60% a damage or 65% damage spell to regular lords with this new spell book. So I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. I want to get this to at least like 15, 20 wide potentially so it could keep up with the rest of the spells. I put a lot of effort and energy into this spell. I haven't got anything legendary because sometimes the legendary be costing a little bit too much chi. Chi, and listen, if, the, if you ain't got the boss keys, the chi is actually a grind. What we are going to do today, man, is we're going to go ahead and make this spell shiny. That's really why I was grinding the chi last night. I said, you know what? I want to make my spell shiny i made sure to spend the right amount of spell buffs on it to get it to level 10 so it is now level 10 and it's gonna go give me 22 percent damage to mega lords and it's gonna go from 11 y to 14 y same cooldown it's gonna cost us quite a bit we have a shiny sticks impact it's beautiful because now we could go back and we could roll some spell buffs man like that, that was the goal i want to see how much chi was gonna have left because i don't have anything on here so for this specific spell just to give you an example of what you could be rolling on here so this is a damage spell so you really want damage spell buffs or you want cooldown spell buffs so if you could get cooldown five or you can get damage five which is damage v or cooldown v it makes the most sense anything else don't really make sense so you could try to sell a spell buff to somebody if it don't really make sense but honestly i just be like skipping it right so hopefully we get something decent um this is our first one so i'm gonna go for a legendary because we're not spending too much chi right now so i'm gonna see if we get anything legendary now you could get legendary at any point this is decent we already at 10 mil every single roll so this is decent also you could do the critical critical is really good as well so if your crit damage is way high on this one that'd be good so i'm gonna go ahead and snag that one for 20 percent damage because now we have 20 percent spell damage it's solid considering that a spell that does 22 percent damage to lords it's a dub let's see what we get in the next light i need purple better oh here we go perfect 
perfect cool down and this is what i'm talking about 20 percent cool down we need those now these are spell buffs that people will buy like if they got any common sense people gonna be buying these spell buffs for a good amount of jays so if y'all want to you know use this get a spell that somebody will really want or really using you could sell those because look at how good this spell is now i'm talking about i got it 13 second cooldown on this spell like that's crazy mixed in with this one which i need to change these to have these on i would prefer to have this one to have map spell v2 but some of these i need to change that's one that's not bad this one's trash i don't know i just put this on here specifically because it was legendary and i couldn't let the legendary go <laughs> but it's a trash this is so trash 19.5 why every 13 seconds bro we're gonna use up all of this cheese because that's really what i grinded this for let's see if we get some spicy our cheese our cheese diminishing i might just go with another cool now i might go one more Ooh, let's see this tower's trash right crit i'll do the crit i mean why not we, i'm spending too much cheese right now so i gotta wait till the day resets once the game resets like the event reset then it'll go back down but we spent too much cheese already for right now just this is for right now we're gonna rock with this we're gonna rock this on out but that makes this spell so much better because if you have 20 percent damage 20 percent cooldown and 2.5 percent chance to deal three times spell damage and also i have other critical things on here as well you're going crazy so let me explain the spell so this arcane beam is probably not the best in my opinion like i don't feel like i got the best stack on here some of these legendaries were good legendaries that i would want on like my main spell like i would want these legendaries i have here i would want on ice crystal drops and ice crystal drops would be so much better because i would have you know max cooldown max damage and what is it or max critical and 20 percent damage feel me like that will make this spell so much better on arcane Arcane Beam, I think personally, because you're you're doing a, a spell increase, you really want this to have the lowest cooldown possible. So if you had three cooldowns on this spell, that would be solid, considering the fact that every time you use this spell, yes, I get 35% damage, well, 55% damage if you add that, add that up, and a 17.5% to deal three times damage, but I'm not using this spell for actual damage. It is at 564Z, which isn't bad. This stack would be much better if I had Toxic Burial, because Toxic Burial does 4.83 three wise so it will be a much better spell to use but even here you're going to be using this spell specifically to get 30 percent increased spell damage so you want this on the lowest cooldown possible so you could keep hitting this because you get 15 seconds if you could get this cooldown to somewhere around 20 seconds you only have five seconds that you're not getting a 30 percent increased damage on spell damage so that's how you want to like stack your spell buffs and stuff like that like some of my spelled up buffs are stacked in a in a way that i prefer them but some of them i had to like really learn and figure out how to do this like with sticks impact i prefer to cool down i prefer to critical and i prefer to spell damage with some of these other ones like if you got passives passives is just mainly like a damage thing for me that's just how i look at it whatever passive i'm using consistently i try to go down a damage route we got 19.5 y i feel like we're in a really good space like if you could have a good spell with a 17.5 percent critical damage and then you have some of your gear that gives you weapon damage gives you crit damage gives you all types of things and then you got your pets like every single one of my pets has a three a five percent chance to do three times more damage with spells you know what i'm saying and then i have 10 percent spell damage here then i have all aura effects that gives me plus five so i really got 15 percent spell damage here also we got the weapon of damage here but i'm just saying like if, you, if i could stack these and have i have almost a 30 percent chance to do a crit which is three times damage so it just makes it a lot better when you could stack all of everything together and everything's on the same page and you don't have to go down a spell route either you can go down weapon damage weapon damage is an excellent route to go down we find finally got our last this banshee stuff takes so long i've needed this froki for at least like two weeks and nobody would sell me one we got the tur war i think that's how you say it upgrading him is crazy because we obviously don't have enough cheese i'm gonna go ahead and grind this out man don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this i'm gonna see you guys in the next video i'm out peace